Hey guys, it's uh, Fook and today is uh, Thursday and uh, it's the first sunny day this week so I'm just out in the backyard enjoying the sun and uh, taking in some fresh air. Uh, last couple of days have been kind of uh, overcast cloudy so not quite as nice for uh, enjoying the outdoors but uh, yeah today is a nice day so I'm gonna take it in. Um, anyways today I want to talk about Trader Joe's Thai green curry simmer sauce. So this is what it looks like. I'll put a little picture up as well. Um, I saw this at Trader Joe's, what, maybe five weeks ago, something like that, and uh, decided to get it because um, I really like their marsala simmer sauce. It's the uh, Indian curry, and that was really good. You, know, you chop up some chicken and, and simmer in that sauce and pour it over rice. It's great. Um, but this one, I'm not as impressed. I made it last night and I used chicken and I used assorted vegetables so uh, peas, carrots, things like that, bean sprouts, uh, bamboo shoots and um, it was okay. So there were there were notes of Thai green curry in there but there was also some stuff that seemed to be lacking. Um, probably the biggest issue I have with the sauce is that it does not have any fish sauce in it. So to me that's almost a no-no for, for Thai cuisine. Um, fish sauce is just a staple for Thai cuisine in almost all dishes, you know. Maybe if you're making like Pad Se Yu, where it's uh, more soy-based, then you don't have the fish sauce. But for almost everything else, you know, Pad Thai, especially the curries, um, if you don't have that, you're kind of lacking that nuance that just makes, makes it not good. I mean, in, in the jar, you have things like um, lemongrass, galango, ginger, so all the usual suspects, but no fish sauce. Um, there's also not enough salt, I think, so it tastes a little bit too sweet for my palate. Maybe it'll be fine for other folks, but for me, it was just um, a bit too sweet. So I think that things that would have made this a lot better, and I may do this myself, um, when I use up the second jar is that if I add just a bit of fish sauce to bring up that salt level just a tad so that it's not as sweet, uh, that's going to help immensely. Uh, the other thing I would do is that I would chop up some uh, chili peppers uh, to spice it up a little bit because this thing is not spicy at all. So um, overall, I think it's okay, but if you had to ask me if I'm going to buy this again, uh, the answer is no, I won't. Uh, I will continue buying their masala curry simmer sauce because I think that's, that's pretty good from Trader Joe's. But on this one, if I had to rate it maybe like a 2 out of 5. Um, normally I really like Trader Joe's products, but for some reason this one seems off. So anyways, I hope you enjoy my take on it. And uh, go out and enjoy the sun wherever you may be. I hope you do have sun. Otherwise, I will check back with you guys later. Bye.